What's going on everyone? Rabbit here with the Rabbit Money YouTube channel and I do have some exciting news. XM Rig, which is probably the most popular miner for CPU mining, has just dropped an update today and it does support the Ghost Rider algorithm. If you're unaware what the Ghost Rider algorithm is, that is the algorithm that Raptorium does use. Yes, you heard me correctly. There is another miner that we can now use for Raptorium. There's a couple things we got to look at here. There is no full tune, so you may see a slight drop in performance, but at the same time, it does only come with a 1% dev fee. And if you do a bunch of tweaking, which we're not going to get into in this video, potentially you can drop that dev fee even more. The main concern with a lot of people when mining Raptorium is that dev fee. So we're taking a look here and most of the pools look like 1% percent one uh 0 0.5 and ultimately there's all the odd 0 0.1 or something but it's all 0 0.5 to 1 so you add one percent onto all this so it looks like you have uh two percent on flock pool one percent on our plant which is not a really that great of a pool uh 0 0.5 percent that puts you at a 1.5 percent dev fee here o11 data 1.5 percent uh, our pool that is two percent another point to bring out here is the cpu miner gr which is the most optimized miner for raptorium in general it is a 1.75 percent fee if you are not mining to flock pool if on flock pool that drops down to 1.5 so 1.5 plus a one percent fee is still 2.5 percent so using xm rig even on flock pool is cheaper than using the cpu miner gr all fine and dandy but how do you use this miner so there's two versions you kind of want to look at depending if you are running linux or windows uh, Hive OS has not yet updated it for this miner, so we're not going to run any custom miners or anything. I'm just going to show you how to actually mine this in Windows right off the get-go with XMRIG. If you do plan on running a Linux-based uh, operating system like Ubuntu or something like that, then you are going to need to use the GCC build here. That is the recommended for Linux, and currently for Windows, which I'm going to be showing you, we are going to be using the MSVC build. To download this miner, uh, once you're here on the GitHub, I will have the link in the description you just click the xm rig 6.16.0 msvc click on this and it will begin downloading your download if you do run into any issues you may have to change your security systems to just for a temporary till it downloads and then put your security systems back into standard mode i'm using brave browser it's pretty close to chrome if you're using chrome so these settings will pretty close be the same but i will show you how to do it using my browser so i'm just going to go to settings here from the top right corner you're going to look for privacy and security and then just find out where your security is safe browsing and then no protection turn off and then do your download come right back into this click this back on and you will finish your download and it's all good to go once you do have it downloaded you just double click it here any winzip program will work so the default one built into windows will work just fine we're going to hit extract to and we got to find the program or the folder where we want to put it i keep all my miners together so i'm just going into here miners cpu raptorium and i already have it but i'm going to do one from scratch here so i'm going to go new folder and then it has a two here i'm just going to change that out and put test on it that way i know what i'm doing and we're going to hit ok and it should have uh, extracted the file navigate to where you did extract that file here you can see i have the exact same one but as test here uh looks like i extracted it twice doesn't matter so this is what we're using this is test default click on here first thing i always do you want to make sure xm rig any cpu mining program runs as an administrator so i'm just going to right click on x and make right off the get-go go to properties compatibility run this program as admin apply and then now in case you know later on you forget to run it as administrator or something by right clicking run as admin. you don't have to do that anymore you can just double click on your start file and you're good to go it'll automatically do it because we already preset that in xm rig itself built into this new version it does have an rtm ghostwriter example right off to start here so we're not going to use our config we're going to use this bat file here right click that and we open it up and here we can see uh, it says right off the get go choose pools outside of the top five to help Raptorium network be more decentralized. As we know, we've kind of been talking about flock pool has a massive amount of hash rate and it's just not good for the look of the network. But so it comes uh, default into mine. What is this? Raptorium Emporium.com. 
uh, port 3008. No wallet or address or anything in here. So we're going to have to set everything manually. It is highly recommended. Whether you're mining Ethereum on GPUs, if you're CPU mining, always check all the default settings because you're going to make sure you want you are mining to your own wallet address as well as the pool you do want to use. It does give you the link directly to the list of Raptorium mining pools. You can see miningpoolstats.stream slash Raptorium. You can just copy this and that brings you to this page. Now this does have pools for any coin, GPU mining, CPU mining, ASIC mining. It doesn't matter. This is how you can find different pools. So pretty much just go in here, pick the pool you want. Uh, example, if I clicked on Supernova here, I just, there it is right there. And this is what you need. So this is their stratum. That is the IP you're going to have to put in there. And again, beside you is always your wallet. We'll get into that when we actually look at setting mine up here for you guys. But this is how you find your pool type of uh, address to actually connect. Again, not recommended because Flockpool does have so much hash rate. As you can see here, 77.3%. That is very bad. You want to keep uh the largest pool should only be like 40 to 45 percent max you don't want to start hitting the 50 and 50 percent plus because then that could potentially cause issues of a 51 percent attack flock pool or i mean raptorium in general does have smart nodes to back that up but it doesn't matter it just doesn't look good for a network on that coin to have that much hash rate on a single pool so anyway if you do want to go to flock pool i'm not saying everyone move off but most people should you just go into their website here you can see the different stratums that you need example here is us flock pool which is what i would use if i wanted to get connect to it so us flock pool i'd copy that here's the ports if you want to secure ssl or a tcp port i always just roll a tcp it's never bothered me so i'd use uh this address with the port of 444 here on the 011 data pool which is the pool i use myself all you got to do is click on the left hand side pools all pools and that brings you up to the stratum here so this is the stratum i'd be using and recommended for this pool 3008 the port isn't really listed here i think that's getting updated sometime here in the future but you should be using port 3008 and this is the pool i'm going to be using in my demonstration if you are mining raptorium already you can just pull all the data out of your previous bat file or your json file whatever you're using so here is my raptorium address i'm just going to copy this straight over here copy erase wallet address right here get rid of that one space after the u and bam that's all set up. Next up, I am going to need my pool address. So I'm just going to go back to here, copy over the stratum and everything, as well as my port. Remember, 3008 is recommended for a single rig hash rate of one kilohash all the way up to eight kilohash. So that is recommended for everybody, unless you're using uh, a low grade Intel or, you know, a big high end Threadripper type of CPU. So that is it. I am done here. This setup is ready to go. So I'm going to save that, exit out. And then double click and I should be good. So we're going to double click that. Yes, because we told it to run as admin previously. It asks us, we hit yes, we're ready to go. There's one issue that's still not tweaked out. Here you can see it does say ready and thread 16 of 16. My workstation is a 5950X. It is only reporting half of it. It is actually using all 32 threads, but only reporting 16. We're going to run to the document right now just to confirm what I just told you. So back to the document here, you can see for the same reason, XM rig can sometimes use less than 100% CPU and Ryzen 3000, 5000 CPUs. If it finds that running one thread per core is faster for some kryptonite variants on your system. Also, this is why it reports using only half the threads at startup. It's actually two threads per each reported thread. So it showed me 16, but we are using all 32. So don't, you know, be jumping around wondering why your CPU is not performing like it should. It is using all the threads. Now, all that setup was dedicated for you're already mining Raptorium. You have a wallet and everything set up, ready to go. So if you are brand new to this and you don't have a wallet yet, then you're going to have to go to the Raptorium website like I have right here. Go to downloads and just click on wallet. Once this does load, we are going to click the Windows setup version. So 1.2.15.3. Just click that and it will. Oh, that's a text file. Don't click that one. We want the setup file right here. <laughs> Ignore what I just said earlier. So Raptorium 1.2.15, which is 15.3 Windows 64 setup. Click that. Uh, it'll do its install and everything you need to do. And then this will pop up. It's going to download the blockchain, but you do not have to wait for it to finish downloading the blockchain. You can just hit the fancy little hide button right here, hit receive, and then hit a label here. So I'm going to go CPU uh, space miner 
testing video because I already have a CT CPU mining one. And that's what I use. So I'm just going to CPU mining test video, uh, create label, no amounts. We're just going to hit request payment right now. And that is your address. Copy your address. Now, if you ever lose it, you accidentally close it. You don't know where it is. All you got to do is go right back into receive, which we currently still are. And you can see the different labels on your actual test. So here we are, CPU miner testing. Double click that. It'll bring that wallet address right back up. Now, depending how many wallet addresses you have, it doesn't matter. If you have all these. These all go to your main wallet, but they are different addresses, but they will all jive into here. Now you can see here I am three hours behind. So if you have been mining for a while and you haven't fully downloaded the blockchain, you will not see your payments. I'm getting all my payments in right now from uh, past days here, but you will not see your payments until you actually do download to the point where you're at on your payments, which you can see mine are coming in with still 36, 36 seconds left. So as I mentioned earlier, there is no full tune when using XM rig, but XM rig has been a CPU mining miner for a very long time. So it's it's great. I highly do recommend it. But here early, early on, very early tests here. Hive OS is on the left. We can see RTM at the very top one here, 6.292. And how XM rig actually reports its hash rate is in 10 seconds, 60 seconds, and 15 minutes. So the ones that's going to be changing the fastest and earliest is that 10 second first one, which you can see in the light cyan color. So 6.2 kill hash in Hive OS, which is running 1.2.3 of the CPU miner GR, which is the optimized miner for Raptorium. Now XM rig on the right is in Windows on my 5950X and it has windows and stuff open. So that hash rate is gonna be a little lower just by default because I have background applications open while I'm doing all this Discord, uh, web browse, all sorts of stuff. But it is saying six kilo hash, and they are actually fairly close together within that margin of error when it comes to having the background applications open. In the middle here, we have a different rotation, which looks like 5.7 kilo hash, Hive OS, 3950X, CPU miner, OpGR, which you can see it labeled right there and in XM rig and Windows on the 5950X 5.7. So they are pretty close, pretty much almost identical. The odd hash is off. And last, which is our third rotation that I tested is 2.4. And in Windows here on XM rig, we are running 2.2. So everything is really close within margin. Again, we have a lot of testing to do. These are, these are just quick three rotations that popped up that I decided to compare head to head here. And there's 20 different rotations. So keep that in mind. 20 rotations, this is only three. So take it, you know, with a little grain there that I did not pick and choose any certain ones. I got to get every single rotation down, test them all to see how they do perform. All right, guys, so that does sum up this video. Hopefully you are up and running on XM rig 6.16.0, mining Raptorium. Uh, we're going to give it a test for a while. It's going to take a lot of testing to finally figure this thing out. Please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up button, as well as bell notification so you don't miss any of the results from those tests if you are a Raptorium miner. Just wanna answer a quick question, which I do see a lot in the comments. Now look at my hash rates, 2.2, 3.6, 5.4, 5.2. Fluctuations like that is 100% normal. There are 20 rotations on this algorithm, so it is bouncing around. Every block, every second block, one to two, it's random. It'll switch its rotation, which means a different hash rate, and a different uh, power consumption involved with it. So that is 100% normal when I have all my rigs going together. I can be as low as 25 kilohash and I can be as high as 45 kilohash on daily averages. So it does fluctuate that much. And if you are noticing fluctuations, it is okay, you don't have to worry. Thank you for watching everyone and rabbit out. Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.